not so much, not so much. Hello and welcome back to my channel guys, I hope you are having a awesome day. So today actually I am having an awesome day, it is my one year vlog anniversary on this day that I'm filming this video, I am super super excited about it i i can't believe how quickly it's gone actually quite square squarey <laughs> quite scary how quickly it's gone um and how much my hair has actually grown i will i will insert some pictures of what it looked like on, on install day and honestly i was so worried i was like i'm gonna look like a plucked chicken for the rest of my life what have I done but thankfully everything's all turned out and yeah my hair is growing it's gathering volume it, it just looks amazing and I'm really really happy that I decided to start this journey and today we're going to celebrate by curling my hair for the first time I know this is a bit like weird random way to celebrate but I just thought the first year, first time curling my hair, you know. <laughs> While I will be curling my hair, we're just gonna have a little chit chat about my hair, about my journey, and about the future of my locks, uh, what I want for them, my goals, etc. So if you want to see how it goes, if it fails, or if it goes well, then stay tuned. Okay, so, I'm just gonna jump straight into it. I, I have my spray bottle, I have some hair bands. Um, I got two packs of these white ones that are meant to be, I don't know, I guess like a medium size, medium to large. And I got these slightly smaller ones. This is just a pack of 12, I think. Just for some detail, maybe like at the partying and things like that. So, yeah, I don't really know what else to say other than congratulations to moi. <laughs> I'm going to start with the small ones around the edge of my parting. I am going to do a side parting. I will put up a picture of what I look like um, with a middle parting. It's, it's not going well for me, to be honest. It used to look really nice when my hair was shorter, it looked like a bit of a fringe type thing, but now it, I, I'd look like a dog like an actual like fluffy dog or something so that that style is just gonna have to be left so this is what they're like Ooh. I'm sure everyone knows what these are and seen them before it's just a, a rod with an elastic attachment and a little cap so that you can uh, secure the hair down so firstly I'm going to spritz my hair with a bit of water. I'm going to grab, no that's too much. Oh I don't know, how much... I don't know how much to grab. Maybe this? No. Okay yeah, I'm gonna grab this much. So I'm gonna go give it a bit of a spritz. Make sure I get the ends my face okay so oh this is such an awkward position to see in what have i done um which way do you start this way should have paid more attention when i was watching those youtube videos you know i'm gonna start this way oh how does it make it look so easy oh sweet okay well that's the first one done cool okay so that's gone in quite well. I think that, I don't know. I think that's okay, I'm not entirely sure. But we will continue anyways. So while I'm doing this, uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about the, like the small, not problems, but things that I've noticed that you probably would want to know about if you are planning on getting sister locks. And the main thing I, have found that really not stresses me out but makes me like kind of anxious that people are staring is the shed hair 
in my locks. So I remember in my first video, I was like, oh shit, hair, it doesn't matter, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I, I retract that statement. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling it back. It's been retracted, okay? The shed hair is mad. It's like you can, I don't even know if I'll be able to show you, but the shed hair is next level, guys. It looks like I have dandruff and a lot of dandruff and there's nothing I can do about it. So when I, when I say the shed hair, I mean the hairs that have come out from the root and at the end of the shaft of hair there's a little bulb which is where your hair was originally inside your scalp when it comes out it just looks like a little white dot in your hair but i have a lot and you can see where my hair has been growing and the shed hair the dots continue up the length of my hair to where like <laughs> where I started my locks and I've tried lots of different things and nothing seems to be working. I, I don't know like what to do with them and it makes me self-conscious. Like when I'm like at work or something and you know when, when people uh, are talking to you and they're like, yeah, 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 I know, yeah. And, they, and you can see their eyes and they're looking up at you and it's like, stop. Stop looking at me! Stop looking at me. Okay, it's not dandruff. It's not dandruff. It's just shed hair. Okay. I don't know. I'm actually struggling. Okay. But yeah, so that is my main problem that I have been experiencing. Other things that I have noticed is oh no i might have already curled them into my hair oh darn it there's there's some at the front that are locking to about say halfway down and they're loose here and then they're locked at the end and it's so frustrating it's just you never know what you're going to find like sometimes i'm looking at my hair everything looks fine or good and then randomly one day I'll find a lock that's like looks looks like it's dying or something. And I'm like, where did you where did you come from? Like how how long have you been here? All, all sad and lonely, you know. Like it, it's really difficult to keep track of how like well or badly your hair is doing. And even like every day I look in my hair, make sure it's okay. But sometimes you just don't notice things until it's like right in your face and you just catch it by accident. Ow, I think I ripped, ripped out a bit of hair there. It's not good. But, oh no, I've left a lot of space. <laughs> oh. Okay, each lock is an individual. They all have their own story of what they've experienced in their life, you know? And they're all locking differently at different times and some are f have finished locking all the way to the end, some not, da 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 da. And, yeah, sometimes it just gets a bit tedious, not gonna lie. It's it just after a while you're like, oh can you can you just lock? Can you just relax please? It stresses me out. So things that I'm really like happy about or excited for is being able to swim in the sea with my hair like out and loose. Oh I just I can't imagine how lovely that feels and i i want to experience it i want it to happen like when i last went on holiday my hair was still like very young i think what they were like maybe five months old or something like that and yeah they struggled they really struggled i had to tie up my hair i had to put it in plaits i had to do all of this stuff and i just wanted to feel like free i just wanted to like jump in the sea and you know get water in my hair and like, <laughs> be like wow you know you know and i just couldn't uh yeah it was quite it was quite annoying actually but um maybe 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 there is a holiday on the cards like in later on this year so i'm i'm hoping i'm like begging my loss so you better you better lock to the end i want to swim in the sea so yeah that's one thing that i'm looking forward to and also being able to wash my hair without uh, like braiding and bundling that would be nice i mean it's not so so 
uh, it's not so so bad but it's just it's just a bit annoying you know the length that I want to go for is like a mid back type thing and I was wondering maybe my locks are gonna be like too heavy or something like that but I found that the main like amount of volume of my locks is at the ends so if once they're locked I just cut the kind of like bulby ends off if you can see they're like kind of fluffy bulby things then my hair will not be so like heavy and dense at the end and I will be able to have longer locks without ripping my hair out at the root that's one thing that I'm actually like terrified of yeah, I remember once um, I was like I can't even remember how old I was you know but I was a kid and I had extensions in and I was like play fighting with my friend and I like knelt well knelt no L lent I lent on one of my extensions and I lifted my head up like suddenly and I actually ripped my hair from my head. Oh my goodness, I was, I thought I was going to die. I held the, <laughs> I held the extension in my hand like I had like lost a limb and I went crying to my mum like mum I just ripped my hair. It was honestly ridiculous. I think it was like around about somewhere here, right? It was right at the front near my baby hairs. So you couldn't even tell that like a whole section of hair was missing. It just looked like an extra bit of baby hair. Oh, I think my locks are attempting to join together just right here. If you can see that. Do you get what I mean? Like you just never know what's going on. I had no idea that these two locks were trying to join together here and I don't know how it happens I don't know how such a thick piece of hair can you see that it's not like just one strand it's like an actual full-on piece of hair trying to attach itself to both of these locks and it's like which one do I pull it from <laughs> okay I think it's okay. We're all okay. All good. All good. I've been always worried that they are going to lose their like volume, their thickness, and they're going to start thinning at the roots. And I'm really worried about that because not just with my hair, but also with my nails, they grow super super fast but so so crappy hopefully not the same for my hair but it just seems that when my hair grows really really fast but it's actually quite fine in texture and it sheds a lot and it doesn't do very well in uh winter it gets gets so dry when i when i tell you it gets so dry in the winter and i don't know if it's because it's finally taking its toll not being able to condition my locks when i first got them done uh, even if i didn't wash my hair for a whole month they would still be like moist and ugh, moist still be moisturized i don't know but basically i had to use coconut oil on the day that i washed my hair after i got my retightening and maybe once in the middle of the six weeks between the tightening and that was about it and they stayed nice and fresh and moisturized but now oh, ew, not so much not so much they're getting crispy i'm telling you now they're getting crispy and bulby and it's um, I don't know I'm getting really excited at the length that it's growing to and the thickness but it's coming with its like downfalls it's not to say that I'm unhappy with my locks I absolutely love them but yeah it's just some obstacles that you have to overcome that you never maybe would have had to overcome uh, before with your even with your natural hair so yeah I've never done a chit chat kind of video I'm not sure how this one is going but i hope you guys are enjoying i think though from here on in as i start going round to the back 
I'm just gonna do this off camera because I feel like I, I won't be able to concentrate and talk at the same time. So I will see you guys again, maybe when I've come round to this side and I will talk some more about my locks, answer some more questions, etc. So I will see you guys in like an hour or so, well, I hope it only takes an hour. <laughs> see you guys in a sec. Okay, so I've done most of my head. I was going to return when I did like half or just the back, but honestly, it was taking so long and my shoulders and my neck, oh. Why did nobody mention this to me in their YouTube videos that actually, like it's a workout, not gonna lie. Other than that, it's going fairly well. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish off these two and we're gonna see the finished product. So now we have all of them done. Hopefully I haven't missed any sections or any locks. I'm gonna see you in a few hours um, when they are all done and ready to be taken out and fingers crossed, it all goes okay. I want to look, want to look hot, hot and spicy, on my, <laughs> on my lock anniversary. Unfortunately, this video won't be going up on this day, but I'm doing this video on the day, and it's like half a win for me anyway. So, what can you do? So yeah. Anyways, I will see you in a few hours. Bye bye, guys. Okay, guys. So we are back. It is now quarter past eight. I've just kept my hair wrapped up in my silk bonnet thing. Ooh. Ta -da. <laughs> I guess we just have to take them out. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I will start from the back, I think, and make my way forward. So, hopefully... Th <laughs> Uh, excuse me, maybe it's just that one, maybe it's, everything's gonna be fine. Oh, that one's a little bit better, a little better, okay, okay. It's, it's been a interesting year, a lot of things have happened. I'm just really glad that I got my hair sister locked, to be honest. It's really, really helped me to be more myself. Like, my hair used to be, like, a really big insecurity of mine when I was younger. I just always thought it was really thin and wispy and, I don't know, just dry. All the bad words about my hair. And I just thought that I could never be one of those people that had nice, thick, long hair. And now I have the opportunity only because of... Oh no, what is that? Darn it! Yeah, so my sister locks have helped me to feel so much better about myself. I don't feel like I have to hide behind like a veil of extensions or I don't feel like I have to put chemicals in my hair. You know, it's, it's so nice to be all natural and still feel beautiful and that's what sister locks have done for me and yes there are like things that you know can get on your nerves and um <laughs> okay whatever it's fine so yeah there there are things that um get on my nerves and that i wish didn't happen but those thoughts are like not even anything compared to what i used to think of my hair and how not confident I used to be to have my own hair out. I would literally just have it in a bun always, every single day. And if it wasn't in a bun, I had my extensions in and I would just go back to back, extensions after extensions after extensions. And I used to go to my friend. Oh no, what if I just, was this not letting go? Uh, okay, and then I went to uni and I had to find someone else to do my hair 
I found a few people and stuff like that and I was just like I can't I can't do this so I just learned how to uh, I mean honestly did you even try so yeah I learned how to braid my own hair and to be honest as soon as I learned how to do it there was no stopping me I was I was braiding my whole head and I didn't have to rely on anyone else and that's the part of getting braids done that I didn't like I had to rely on other people when they were free and stuff like that to get my hair done so when I could do it by myself like I felt like I felt good about that that I could um, look after my own well look after my own hair and it looks reasonable and decent but like as the like the months the years go on you start to realize that you're still you're still not comfortable with yourself you're comfortable with the way that you've made yourself look on a regular basis but you still hide the way that you really are oh my goodness oh, look at that one it's so bouncy um who you really are truly I mean, this side is just an honest fail. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna break these up a bit. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. We'll see in the finished look. Oh my god. I mean, considering that they didn't all turn out properly, and some of them are a lot more curly, exhibit A, and some not so much, exhibit B, it's, it could be worse. Let's, let's just say that. Okay, I think what has happened is that I haven't left it for long enough, and this side is, has dried a lot more than this side has. You know, I'm gonna take, take this off I mean it is nice it's it's created a nice uh, like silhouette a hair silhouette and when you look from the front I guess you can't notice that it's not all the same curl pattern and it's not all exactly curly either so yeah that is the result um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if I will be doing this again anytime soon. It did take a lot of effort and a lot of time to dry, much longer than actually no, it's probably about the same time to dry as um, my regular braid out, but the difference is that I can sleep on my braid out perfectly fine. On these, not so much. The more I look at it, the more I'm liking it. I just really like the silhouette it gives my face. It frames my face really nicely. And it's given me volume. Volume. I will attempt to do it overnight because I think that's the best way to get it done. I would just prefer uh, to do a braid out over these. It's a lot quicker, a lot easier, but definitely for a event, something that you want to look yes for, this is the one. This is the one for you. Okay guys, so that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was really fun to make. Today has been a very, very exciting day for me. My one year lock anniversary. I'm so excited to be celebrating with you guys. This is my first kind of chit chat video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then hit that like button, comment down below and if you want to see any of my other videos that I post, then subscribe and the bell. We, I mean, I don't need to explain this in every video, just you know what to do. So see you all in my next video. Bye!